Tonight we're putting a spotlight on a local doctor whose work is changing and in some cases saving lives in the metro area and overseas. Dr. Wally Suleiman is a neurosurgeon at Oxner Hospital. Most would consider that a full-time job, but as you're about to see, this doctor has a motor that's operating on two continents. Nigeria. New Orleans. They're not on the same plane, but every month, Dr. Wally Suleiman is on an airplane connecting the two regions in his own unique way. Hey, how are you? Well, I figured out that, you know, if I had been given all these opportunities and to get where I am in life, uh, the least I could do was to give back. Suleiman is a spine and brain surgeon at Oxner Hospital. On this day, he's following up with a former patient, Joseph Canizero, who suffered back pain for years. Canizero wanted to avoid surgery, but that pain intensified to the point it severely affected his walking. I've been in severe pain for over a year. I had four epidurals in the last year and not one worked. He then turned to Dr. Suleiman and underwent spine surgery back in December. Can I see you walk? After a year of agony and impeded mobility, Canizero was able to walk virtually carefree the day after his surgery. So it's not far-fetched to say that your time, your meeting Dr. Suleiman was life-changing. It has been. And, you know, I, I checked him out. I knew he was good before I let him operate on me, but I didn't know how good he was. And he's got this personality that helps give you comfort in what he's going to do. Suleiman is also giving comfort and care on a different continent. This is Dr. Suleiman arriving a few weeks ago in his hometown of Lagos, Nigeria, on his latest medical mission. Soon after touching down, he's preparing to perform spinal surgery on a Nigerian patient, all of it for free. My philosophy is whether you are a Nigerian, a Vietnamese, a, a, an American, everybody should have access to some degree of good quality health care. Dr. Suleiman started his medical missions to Nigeria back in 2010. In the beginning, he would leave his post here at Oxner every few months and return to Africa. Now it's every month, spending seven to ten days performing surgeries and ultimately saving lives. Suleiman came across this woman in Nigeria three years ago. At the time, she was 40 years old, pregnant, and suffered from severe headaches. When I met her, she was comatose. She was not able to open her eyes. She was not able to move. Take a look at her CAT scans. They revealed a large brain tumor. Within hours, she underwent a C-section, and Suleiman performed emergency brain surgery. The tumor was the size of my hand, the size of my hand. She's been dealing with this for years, with headache, and not until she actually manifested with a seizure did somebody take it seriously to take her to the hospital. The next day, she was opening her eyes. She was now interacting with her, with her husband. Uh, the following day, she was up and about, uh, actually uh, feeding herself. So that's why I continue to do that, because I think you can really make a significant impact on people that would otherwise be hopeless. She would have died if we couldn't intervene. Mm -hmm. hey, everybody. This is video of the woman after surgery, once comatose, now seemingly cured. The New Orleans to Nigeria endeavor is demanding. Suleiman has to say goodbye to his three children every month. He also agreed with Oxner to give up 15% of his salary so he can have a flexible schedule to travel. My wife supports me heavily in what I'm doing, so thank God for online shopping. Suleiman says his wife's support is a pillar of his medical missions. After earning success as a surgeon years ago, Suleiman says he was looking for more meaning in his life. He had a constant question for his wife. I always ask her, what is it all about? When we've done something, said, is that, is that it? Why are we doing what we're doing? I think it's about purpose. Everybody in life, you need to figure out what your purpose is. He found that purpose in Lagos, Nigeria, where he was born. This was his childhood home. The future doctor came from a family of 10, raised in a place he described as a deep ghetto. Where we hardly had any electricity and water. My parents don't have any Western education. They can hardly write or read in English. The son of illiterate parents dedicated himself to school. With the help of a network of local and international supporters, Suleiman earned his medical degree in Bulgaria. His stints took him to Canada, where he met his future wife. They ultimately settled in the New Orleans area. In his decade at Oxner, he worked his way up, eventually becoming the chairman of the neurosurgery department. Even with his professional achievements, this, he says, is the most rewarding. And so that's the driving force. That's what really keeps me going. 
um, because what is the use if you have all these talents and skills and you just take it to your grave? Right? In the past five years alone, Suleiman and his team have performed surgeries for 500 patients. They've also screened and provided preventative medicine to more than 5,000 people. Oxner has supported his efforts sending supplies overseas with Suleiman. He's now developing programs to train locals so they can spread health care to those with no access. In Nigeria, where the average life expectancy is roughly 55, it's about 76 in the U.S., Dr. Suleiman's work is life-saving. I feel privileged. I feel like I've been given an opportunity to impact somebody's life. Um, in whichever way, shape, or form, this don't have to save people's lives all the time. Suleiman's work may seem a world away, but he reminds us that what happens internationally is increasingly affecting the U.S. Remember that Ebola scare when two patients had to be brought back to Texas and Georgia? We've seen instances where things that we think are so far away, like, you know, bird flu, like Ebola. We thought they were so far away, but they got they made it to, 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 to Texas. So the world is becoming so globalized that even in the comfort of our own home, where we feel we're safe, because of globalization, I think things are closer than we think. With that in mind, Suleiman says the fortunate should find ways to help those in need. And the neurosurgeon says it's not necessarily brain surgery. If everybody gives back a little bit, humanity will be a lot better. Through his work, Dr. Suleiman established the RNZ Global Foundation. RNZ are the initials of his children. The foundation's goal right now is to build a medical facility in Nigeria where Suleiman and his partners can provide treatment to patients and training for the next generation of doctors. If you'd like to help the mission, go to our website, wwltv.com, and click on this story.